Are you inundated with yarn, project remnants, discount bin bargains, the gifted, the thrifted and the stash of other odds and ends of unknown origins? This series aims to bust that stash with quick, simple tutorials that use only small amounts of yarn. Welcome to the Scrap Stash. Hey everyone, today's Halloween pattern is going to be a bat, so grab your hooks and let's get started. To make this pattern you're going to need a 3mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, a needle, pins, stuffing and 8 ply yarn in a colour or colours of your choice. For the head put 6 single crochet in a magic circle to begin, round 2 is 6 increases, round 3 is 3 single crochet, 3 increases repeated twice, round 4 is 1 single crochet, 1 increase and then a repeat of 2 single crochet, 1 increase done 5 times, finish off with 1 single crochet. Round 5 is 24 single crochet, round 6 is 3 single crochet, 1 increase repeated 6 times. Round 7 through to 10 are going to be 30 single crochet. Round 11 begins with 13 single crochet. The next 3 stitches are going to be worked in the front loop only. Into the first front loop you're going to do 1 half double crochet, 1 double crochet both in the same stitch. In the second front loop you're going to do 2 double crochet in the same stitch. And then in the third front loop you're going to do one double crochet and one half double crochet again both in the same stitch. To finish round 11 you're going to do 13 single crochet and work into both loops again. Rounds 12 to 13 are 33 single crochet. Round 14 is 9 single crochet, 1 decrease repeated 3 times. Round 15 is 3 single crochet, 1 decrease repeated 6 times. Round 16 is 1 single crochet, 1 decrease and then a repeat of 2 single crochet, 1 decrease done 5 times. Finish off with 1 single crochet. At this point secure your end and begin stuffing the head. Then we're going to continue with round 17 which is 1 single crochet, 1 decrease repeated 6 times. Round 18, the final round, is just 6 decreases. Finish off and weave in your end. Using the ear pattern you're going to make four ears, you're going to do two in the body colour, whichever colour that may be for you, and two in a highlight colour. Again, whatever colour you've chosen to use. You're going to begin by chaining two. Row one is just going to be one increase in the second chain from the hook. Row two is chain one, turn your work, and then we're going to do one increase followed by one single crochet. Round three, chain one, turn your work, and we're going to do one increase followed by two single crochet. Row four, chain one and turn, and then we're going to do one increase, three single crochet. Round five, chain one, turn your work. We're going to do one increase followed by three single crochet, and then one increase in the last stitch. Row six, chain one, turn your work, and then we're going to do seven single crochet across. Round seven, chain one and turn. We're going to do one increase, five single crochet, and an increase in the last stitch. Rows eight, nine, and 10 are just going to be nine single crochet across chaining one and turning your work at the start of each round, row, <laughs> at the start of each row. Row 11 is chain one, turn your work and then four single crochet. Round 12 is chain one, turn work and four single crochet again. Row 13 is chain one, turn work and then we're going to single crochet two together and then finish with two single crochet. And row 14, the final round, is chain one, turn work, we're going to single crochet two together and finish off with one single crochet. Use this pattern to crochet the inner part of the ear first, so the coloured part. Once you've done that, cut the yarn and set those aside. And then you're going to go on to do the ears in the body colour. Once you've finished crocheting the entire ear pattern in the body colour, take one of the inner ear pieces, the coloured pieces, and lay it on top. And then while the ear that you've crocheted in the body colour is still attached to the hook so you haven't cut the yarn, you're going to single crochet the two pieces together and at the very top, at the tip of the ear, you're going to create a picot stitch. To do that, all you need to do is single crochet into the stitch, chain three, and then into the very first chain, into the back bump, so that's not the front loop or the back loop, but the little bump at the back of the stitch, you're going to single crochet into that and that's how you create a picot stitch. Once that's done, continue single crocheting down the edge until the piece is all crocheted together and once you've done that, you're going to leave a tail for sewing.
The wings are similar to the ears in that we're going to crochet four pieces, two in the coloured yarn and two in the body colour, whatever that may be. Crochet the coloured ears first, set them aside, and then we're going to crochet the ears in the main body colour. You're going to begin by chaining six. Row one is five single crochet. Row two, chain one, turn your work, and we're going to do five single crochet. Row three is chain two, turn your work, and then six single crochet. Row four, chain one, turn your work, six single crochet. Row five, chain three, turn your work, and we're going to do seven single crochet. Row six, chain one, turn your work, and then six single crochet. Row seven, chain one, turn your work, six single crochet. Row eight, chain two, turn your work, and do six single crochet. Row nine, chain one, and turn, and then six single crochet. Row 10, chain two, turn your work, and then do six single crochet. Row 11, chain three, turn your work, and do eight single crochet. Row 12, chain two, turn your work, and do seven single crochet. Row 13, chain one, turn work, seven single crochet. Round 14 is chain two, then turn your work, and then seven single crochet. Round 15, chain one, turn your work, and do seven single crochet. Round 16, chain one, turn your work, and another seven single crochet. Row 17, chain three, turn your work, and do eight single crochet. Row 18, chain one, turn your work, and then six single crochet. Row 19, chain one, turn your work, and then five single crochet. Row 20, chain one, and turn, followed by four single crochet. Row 21, chain one, turn your work, and then three single crochet. Row 22, chain one, and turn, followed by three single crochet. And then row 23, our last row, is chain three, turn your work, and then four single crochet. You're going to do the same thing with the wings that we did with the ears. Take the coloured piece, lay it on top of the body colour piece, and single crochet them together, putting a pico stitch at the highest points of the top of the wing, and the bottom of the wing. So there's one high point at the top of the wing and three little fingers at the bottom of the wing. And again, when you've finished crocheting, leave a tail for sewing. If you'd like a more detailed explanation of how to crochet the wing or how to do a picot stitch, you can check out my pan bat tutorial, which uses the exact same wing pattern, but it goes over it in quite a bit more detail. So I'll leave a link in the description if you think that would be helpful. The legs and body are crocheted as one piece. We're going to begin by crocheting both of the legs and then joining them together and continuing on to do the body that way. Beginning with the legs, we're going to put six single crochet in a magic circle for round one. Round two is six increases. Round three to five is 12 single crochet. Round six is four single crochet, three increases, and then five single crochet. Round seven is four single crochet, followed by a pattern repeat of one increase, three single crochet repeated three times. Finish off with five single crochet. Rounds eight to nine are just going to be 18 single crochet. I've just finished round nine of the leg. If this is the first leg you've done, what you're going to do is cut the yarn and then weave in the end so you can't see it. However, if this is the second leg, you're going to leave the leg on the hook, so don't cut the yarn. Instead, what we're going to do is first take out our stitch markers and then bring in the first leg. And with the wider parts of the thighs, so this part here, facing outward, so if I've got them together, you can see it's on the outside of each leg. And then we're going to go into one of these stitches of the loose leg, so this one here. And it doesn't really matter which stitch number you go into as long as you're keeping the wider parts of the thighs on the outside. After you go through that first stitch, we're going to go straight into the next free stitch of the leg that's still on your hook. So into there. Once you've done that, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again, and we're going to single crochet the two legs together. We're going to repeat that twice more. So go into the loose leg first into a stitch and then we're going to go into the next free stitch of the leg still on your hook, single crochet and we're going to do that once more so that we've 
single crochet the two legs together for three stitches. If you slip stitch to finish off your or the loose leg, don't work into the slip stitch. It doesn't count as a stitch in the round. So if there's a slip stitch here, like there is with me, we're going to skip over that and go into the next single crochet. And then into the other leg. Yarn over and single crochet them together. Now that we've single crocheted the legs together for three stitches, we should have 15 free stitches in each leg. Because we started with 18, single crocheted them together for three, that leaves us with 15 and 15. To begin round 10, of which is the first round of the body, but we're going to be calling it round 10, you're going to work into the next free stitch in your round here. So I've joined the legs together here. I'm going to be working into this stitch. I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm going to place my stitch marker into this stitch because that becomes stitch number one of round 10. Rounds 10 through to 13 are 30 single crochet. Round 14 is four single crochet, one decrease, and then a pattern repeat of eight single crochet, one decrease repeated twice. Finish off with four single crochet. Round 15 is 27 single crochet. Round 16 is seven single crochet, one increase repeated three times. Round 17 is 24 single crochet. At the end of round 17, secure your end and begin to stuff the legs and the body. Round 18 is three single crochet, one decrease, and then a repeat of six single crochet, one decrease done twice. Finish off with three single crochet. Round 19 is 21 single crochet. Round 20 is five single crochet, one decrease repeated three times. And round 21, our final round is 18 single crochet. Finish off and leave a tail for sewing. The eyes are nice and simple. All we're going to do is put six single crochet in a magic circle, slip stitch to finish and leave a tail for sewing, and then go ahead and add some details. So a pupil, some little reflective sparkle, whatever you want to add to make it look good. We're going to assemble our bats by sewing the body to the head. But before we do that, make sure your head is facing the right direction. The three stitches where we worked into the front loop on the head created like a little nose, so that should be facing forward. Once you have the head in the right position, go ahead and pin and sew the body to the bottom of the head. Once that's done, we're going to sew on the eyes. Pin the tops of the eyes in place between round six and seven, approximately two stitches apart. After the eyes, you're going to sew on the ears. The top of the ears sits between rounds two and three, and they sit on the side of the head. The bottom of the ears can be placed wherever you like. If you put them further up the head, the ears are going to curl a little bit more. So that's up to you how you want the ears to sit. Once you've got them in a position that you're happy with, go ahead and sew those on too. The last bit of sewing we need to do is the wings. Place them on the side of the body, wherever you think they look best. Pin and sew those on. Once that's done, our final step is going to be to add some details. So you can add eyebrows, nostrils, uh, well, whatever else you like to your bat. And once that's done, you're all finished. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. We've got three more Halloween patterns to go, so I will see you tomorrow with the next one.